We've all been there. It's a beautiful sunny day and you're stuck inside a maths classroom trying to work out what X is again. Y equals 4X over 2, X squared equals 3X plus 1. Who even cares, right? Well, actually, X is just the very beginning of how really powerful equations work. Equations that describe the movement of our planets in the solar system, or tell us how explosions work, or get your computer that you're sitting in front of right now to work. The thing is, is that if you use a number instead of a letter like X, you can only talk about the number that's right in front of you. Whereas if you use a letter, you could be much more general and come up with much more impressive equations. Things like the equations of fluid dynamics, which are so general that they apply equally well to the biggest hurricane as they do to a tiny drop of sweat rolling down your cheek as you're in your algebra class. Now, these are the equations that are used by aeronautical engineers to get planes to fly, by race car designers to make their cars more streamlined, by oil workers to get the oil out of the ground as efficiently as possible, and by weathermen to tell us when it's going to rain. It's because we're not saying what X is that it can be any one of those things. And a single equation can apply in all of those situations. Now, another example is Newton's second law, F or force equals mass times acceleration. And again, because you're using letters instead of numbers, the force can be anything from how a rocket gets into space to how your seatbelt stops you if you have a car crash to how a boxer's face moves as he gets punched in the face. And so I admit that while finding X might not seem like the most exciting thing in the world, even though I always secretly loved it. What you're really seeing is the important beginnings of the magnificent, majestic power of algebra. Now, two jobs for you. One, subscribe to Headsteam, and two, check out Jenny's new video on how big trees can grow.